and welcome back to another taste of Terry. This is quite a treat we're doing today. I have a pound of hamburger. Okay, now you won't need a pound of hamburger. I have a pound of hamburger cooking right now. I have my skillet, but you won't need a skillet if you don't need to. Now, see, what I'm going to make is over the next couple of days is a couple of different hamburger grilled cheese sandwiches. Now the good thing about this is, is you can use a pound of hamburger and you can make so many sandwiches out of it. So many different ones. Today I'll have two different videos coming. This video shows me cooking the hamburger though, so you might want to keep an eye on this. Okay, so anyhow, we've got the hamburger in there and it's a cooking. Okay, we got a teaspoon here. And I should have brought the big salt container, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take about two teaspoons of salt. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Just one, one teaspoon of salt. I keep thinking half teaspoons because I only had a half in here the other day when I was doing something. Anyhow, we're going to take a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. And I'm going to make a mess. But, yeah, I clean up my own messes, so... Somebody asked me that too. I said, what do you do with the messes? And I was like, well, I clean it up. See, we're just gonna fry the hamburger, okay? Now here's a, here's a little trick. This is gonna be the double, this is gonna be grilled double cheeseburger, okay? And you can use this over again, okay? Now we got garlic powder. We're gonna stick a teaspoon of garlic powder in there, spread it around a little bit. Okay. But see, this is going to, like I said, it's going to be used for many different sandwiches. And of course, like any kind of grilled cheese that you're going to do. And in this case, and what I use in other videos, I use this Italian bread. Buy one, get one free at Tops, it was. So I'm going to take real quick. We're going to butter one side of the bread. I already lost the tie, I like that. So I'll wrap it up because I'm gonna use it again in a few minutes. So you actually only butter one side of the bread. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is we'll come back and do that while the hamburger's cooking. So I'm gonna pause this while the hamburger's cooking and all. So keep an eye out, Put we'll put a cover on it. We're gonna pause the video. The hamburger is cooking. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, Hamburger's browned really nice. Okay, now here's another trick. If you're going to just use this hamburger for the double cheeseburger sandwiches, well then, if you're going to just use it all, because you're going to make a few, hey, awesome, go ahead, do it. And maybe add some onions. Oh, little onion in there, you know, hey, just giving you ideas. Not a griddle. I use a griddle, I have one. If not, use a pan, it's not a problem. I've already been heating that up because we want it to be heated. Now, another trick. You want some ketchup and you want it on it? Throw some ketchup on it. Throw some mustard on it. Throw your fixin on, fixins on whatever you want for fixins, okay? So we're going to butter one side of the bread. And the way, we, the way I do this, you may not have some tongs, but I, most people have tongs at home, okay? So what I'll do, <clears throat> we'll take one piece of the butter bread, take your top off, be ready, because you want it ready. Okay, your tongs are ready, okay? I got one of these little chopper spoon looking things that I mix it all up in. You want to mix it up good, because you don't want to end up saying, okay, hmm, that tastes good, except, okay, first a piece of bread, because you want the spices mixed up, then a piece of cheese. I'm going to scoop out some of this hamburger. Let it drip a little bit. We're going to stick the hamburger right on the sandwich, okay? Try to chop it up in, in the pieces that so you can put it on there and it'll be good, okay? I honestly should have forgot the Italian bread, so I could have added another half a slice of cheese. But this will melt and this will expand some, so we'll be safe. We'll be safe, okay? Okay, so I'm going to put a... You can see that up there, right? Yep. I missed a little in the back. We got that on there. Look at that. I like some hamburger. Okay. Did I miss? I see I missed the spot. Hey, I have a bad foot. I know I'm not standing up. 
Okay, we're going to take this piece of cheese and stick that on the top there. And you put the other piece of bread on the skillet, and we're going to let that cook until it browns. Um, I'm going to pause the video once again, because this way I don't have to show you so much time. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, we're coming back. We're back, we're back, we're back. Can you see that cheese sizzling right there? Wow. The cheese is sizzling. We're going to... We're going to plate as soon as I go get a plate. I'll be right back. And there she is on a plate. Don't forget Thursday's my live. Look at that melted cheese. I added the other half a slice. But anyhow, my live Thursday, five, or 6.30 on Facebook Live. It'll be a doozy. So we'll see you. Taste of Terry. Like, share, and subscribe.